Good morning students. Today we are going to learn about the physical divisions of India and we are going to focus on the northern mountains that is the mighty Himalayas. India is a land of high mountains mighty rivers fertile plains extensive plateaus and dense forests broadly the mainland can be divided into four major physical units starting from the northern mountains in the north the northern plains at the foothills of the mountains the peninsular plateau in the south and the coastal plains apart from these there are two island groups that are also a part of India and they are the Lakshadweep Islands in the Arabian Sea and the Andaman and Nicobar Islands in the Bay of Bengal about which you are already familiar with because we have learnt about this in the last video. Let us now learn about the northern mountains. Now here in the map you can see these brown colors which indicates the mountains. The high mountain ranges run along the northern boundary of the country. There are several ranges about which we are going to speak about. Now when you see these lofty mountains, they are colored brown, which is an indication that they are very, very high. The northernmost range is the Karakoram range. And it lies between the Pamir Knot in the north and the River Indus, the valley of the River Indus in the south. Here on the Karakoram, we have one of the highest peak that is Mount Ketu. It has a height of about 8611 meters. The Karakoram range has extensive snow fields and it has got large glaciers which includes the Siachen and the Baltoro glacier. The Siachen glacier is one of the highest battlefields and it belongs to our country. It is one of the most strategic point for India because it is a glacier which lies at the crossroad between China in the east and Pakistan in the west. South of the Karakoram are the mighty Himalayas. The range of the Himalayas stretches for about 2,500 kilometers right from the northwest to the 
northeast. It stretches from the Indus Valley over here and right up to the eastern part of India beyond the Brahmaputra Valley. The Himalayas are young fold mountains. That means that they have been formed at a very later age of the history of the earth. The young fold mountains of the Himalayas are characterized by high peaks, very steep slopes. So here you can see the high peaks are having very steep slopes and they are highly rugged. That is, they are not smooth. There are deep gorges in the Himalayas and it is dotted with several numerous glaciers. The ranges are also broken at several places and these broken areas give way to passes. There are several passes in the Himalayas. Among these are the Georgila Pass, which is found in Ladakh, the Shipkila Pass in Himachal Pradesh, the Banihal Pass is found in the Pir Panjal range and connects the Kashmir Valley to the outer Himalayas or the lesser Himalayas. All these passes are in the west and they are the major passes which are found in the western part of India. There are several other passes in the east too of which the Nathula Pass is in Sikkim and it is between the borders of India and China. The Jelepla Pass connects Sikkim with Lasha and it is found in the border of Sikkim and Bhutan. The Himalayas consists of three main parallel ranges. Here you can see the three parallel ranges that is the greater Himalayas, the lesser Himalayas and the outer Himalayas. The greater Himalayas are the highest and they lie to the northernmost. Towards the south we have the lesser Himalayas or the middle Himalayas. We also call this the Himachal. And further south we have the outer Himalayas or the Shivaliks. In between the parallel ranges there are several valleys of which the most important being the Vale of Kashmir and the Kulu Valley. The mountains generally decrease in height from west to east. There are several peaks which exceeds 8000 meters in the Himalayas and they are permanently covered with snow. The name Himalaya comes from the word abode of snow that is Heem Ale. Heem means snow and Ale means abode. So Himale which means the abode of snow. The great Himalayas or the inner Himalayas or the Himadri form the northernmost range and contains 
some of the highest peaks in the world which includes the Everest between the Nepal and China border. Kanchenjunga is found on the Nepal and Indian border. Besides this, we have several other very high peaks which includes the Makalu, the Annapurna, the Dholagiri and several others like the Nanda Devi, Kamet and so on. Many rivers originate from the glaciers of the great Himalayas, the most important being the Ganga and the Yamuna. The Ganga originates from Gangotri glacier. Its originating point, the Gomuk, it looks like the snout of a cow. Its major tributary, the Yamuna, also originates from one of the most important glacier, Yamunotri, not far away from Gangotri. And it is here from where the Yamuna originates and meets the Ganga far away in Prayagraj. The Lesser Himalayas, also known as the Middle Himalayas or the Himachal, lie to the south of the Great Himalayas. They are lower than the Greater Himalayas. This can be seen over here. Here we have the snow-covered Greater Himalayas and the Lesser Himalayas are covered with a lot of greenery, lots of coniferous trees can be found in the lesser Himalayas. These ranges of the Himalayas boasts of some very beautiful hill stations like Shimla, Masuri, Ranikhet, Nainital and Darjeeling. The outer Himalayas or the Shivaliks lie to the south of the middle Himalayas or Himachal. It is the lowest of the Himalayan ranges. Many broad valleys are found over here. Here we can see the broad valleys which are found between the Lesser Himalayas and the Outer Himalayas or the Shivaliks. Now these broad valleys are known as dunes. Dunes are longitudinal valleys which are found between these two ranges. They are filled with a lot of coarse material brought by the rivers which cross these areas. There are several dunes between the Lesser Himalayas and the Outer Himalayas. The most important being Dehradun. Other such dunes are the Kotli Dune and the Partli Dune. The eastward continuation of the Himalayas are found beyond the Brahmaputra Valley and are collectively known as the Purvachal or the Eastern Hills because Purab means East and the Purvanchal or the Purvachal are the hills 
which run from the end of the brahmaputra valley towards the south it includes the patkai bum the naga hill and the mizo hill and the garo khasi and the jaintia hills I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned about the Himalayas in detail. That is what we have enough time for today. Thank you. But before I leave you, if you have any query, please write to me in the comment section below. So thank you for today. and we are coming with the next video which will include the northern plains